My current research project focuses on the nutritional interventions that we can use to boost the immunity of dairy calves. I was funded for a USDA NEFA fellowship to be able to study specifically zinc and the capacity that it has to be able to modulate the effector functions of immune cells and how we can harness that to be able to improve a calf's response to a vaccine. My initial work was understanding the redox biology of dairy calves, which is one of the factors that contributes to why their immune systems tend to be less efficient. And from that, then I became interested in how we can use micronutrients as a tool to be able to address that problem. And from there, my research has just grown to be able to focus more specifically on zinc and like more mechanistic pathways. The long-term goal of this project is trying to improve the response that calves have to parental vaccines to provide them more protection during a critical window so that way we can reduce their morbidity and mortality. The capacity for dairy calves to respond to parental vaccines is slowly building basically from birth up through six months of age and so we see this area that is centralized around weaning where their capacity to respond to a parental vaccine is somewhat limited and so that's the critical window that we're trying to address and it's also an important window for disease this is a time that is you know metabolically stressful for calves because they're going through nutritional changes it's socially very stressful for calves because there are housing changes that are associated with that and so all of these factors leaves calves more susceptible to disease when I started at Michigan State as an undergraduate, I wanted to pursue a DVM here at MSU. My original goal was to become a large animal practitioner, and if you're gonna work in Michigan as a large animal practitioner, you're gonna work with dairy cattle. And so I very intentionally tried to immerse myself you know, in the dairy industry to have a better understanding of the needs that that industry has. As an undergraduate, I began working in Lorraine Sordillo's uh, Meadowbrook lab studying the immunology of transition cows and it really sparked this interest or this passion for me about how you can use mechanistic research to be able to drive clinical medicine forward. I think nutritional immunology is really fun. There's tons of research in other species that I can pull from, that I can go see what they are doing and how they've been doing it. Specifically, my work is like trying to manipulate the metabolism of immune cells and that is like a very emerging field where even in other species we're learning how important these metabolic pathways are for driving specific effector functions and so you know looking at work that's been done you know in mice or humans and you know reading that and like looking at what tools I can use and how I can apply that to dairy cattle. CMIB has this like really great integration of clinical medicine and biology. There's not a lot of programs that bridge the gap between research and medicine. And so having you know an established research program located within one of our health colleges on Michigan State's campus is a tremendous asset for being able to better understand clinical trials, for being able to better develop models to study disease, to be able to better develop treatments for disease and understand how we can you know create interventions that are going to be meaningful for both people and animals.